What's going on you guys, this is Tech HD coming at you with a brand new how to video and today we're going to be starting a brand new series. Basically it is going to be a how to stream on anything basically twitch.tv, YouTube gaming using OBS Studio. Now I made a series a couple months back on how to stream using XSplit and that got a lot of good, uh, good support, a lot of good things and people wanted to uh, wanted me to make a video on how to use OBS and so I decided to use OBS for a couple months get used to it and I honestly love OBS it's so much easier than using XSplit and it's completely free so you are not limited to just 720p at 30 frames per second you could go for 1080p at 60 frames per second you could record and you could stream on good bit rate it's not limited whatsoever there's no watermarks or anything like that so there's gonna be five episodes I listed five episodes and it's all gonna be in one playlist so that you guys can go check it out I'm thinking of basically uploading it every three days each episode every three days so that you guys don't have to wait so long because I know uh, for XSplit it was once a week so I was thinking three days so basically this video is most likely gonna be up on Monday and so then it's gonna be Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and then the second episode will be up on Friday and then Saturday Sunday Monday it'll be up on Tuesday episode 3 and then so on and so on it's gonna go up to five episodes and then if you guys want to want me to make more of an in-depth video about certain things like um, basically audio spectrum how to make that how to make a moving sponsor basically you're gonna see uh, that in other episodes as well so without further ado let's get right into the computer so as you can see right here we got uh, basically we're on my computer and then we're just gonna open up OBS right here and then you can see this is how OBS studio looks like and basically the first thing that we're gonna be doing is settings. so this is episode one episode one is gonna be setting so if you go over here to the bottom right you click on settings you will be right here where we're gonna start with general so then i like to keep it at english you keep keep it at dark or default i like to keep it as dark because it looks a lot more professional i like to show confirmation dialogue when stopping streams and when starting streams that's basically up to you this is completely optional i like to automatically record when streaming and i like the basic setting general this i don't know actually so i like to keep it as it is this is the same enable all of this is checked and this is at 10.0 and then let's get into the streaming now this is for anything this is for twitch.tv youtube gaming anything so that is we're not going to mess with that this is really up to you if you guys want to stream on twitch or on youtube so on and so on so let's go into the output now this is where we get a little bit more uh in depth with this so if you have an nvidia graphics card on your computer then you could put the encoder to that or you could just use h 264 i'm gonna use the nvidia h.264 because that is the best possible setting we're gonna keep the audio track at one we're gonna import streaming service encoder settings and we're gonna rescale the output basically for streaming streaming on twitch the maximum is basically 1280 by 720 and the CBR, we're gonna keep it at constant bit rate and not variable bit rate. We're gonna keep it at constant bit rate and the maximum bit rate for Twitch is 2.5 megabits. So it's 2,500 kilobits per second. We don't wanna go up to 3.5 because on mobile devices, if people are gonna watch your stream on mobile devices, it's gonna mess up, it's gonna lag a lot on mobile devices. So we wanna keep it balanced. And so 2.5 is the best possible. So you wanna put it to 2,500 uh, kilobits per second. We wanna keep it to zero for auto. We wanna keep it to default, keep this at main, and keep this at auto uh use two pass encoding gpu zero and this is a new update this is two. Oh, by the way you're gonna want uh the update that i'm using this the latest one is gonna be obs 0.16.2 so just to let you guys know about that and if we go to the recording setting this is when it gets a lot more interesting so depending on your graphics card uh not your graphics card depending on your capture card I'm using the Elgato HD60 uh, so 
basically the maximum bit rate that I could record gameplay is 40 megabits per second. So that is 40,000 kilobits per second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it exactly to 40,000 kilobits per second. If you have an Elgato HD 60 Pro, then the maximum is 60 megabits per second. So that's 60,000 kilobits per second. If you have a Elgato HD 60 S, it's um, basically 40 as well, 40 megabits per second. I don't know about any other capture cards like Hopog or any other stuff like that. I'm really more into the Elgato because they uh, explain, they basically put the amount of bit rate, the maximum bit rate onto their website. So I really like Elgato for that. So what we want to do is you want to first browse and put all the recording files into where you want it to be so i have a folder for videos and obs so i want to this is all up to you where you guys want to put it i want to generate files names without space and i want the recording format to be the best which is mp4 i want the audio track to be one and then i want the encoding to be the nvidia h.264 I want the resolution. Now, what I love about OBS is that you could change the rev the revolution from the resolution. I said it so differently. You want to change the resolution uh, from streaming and recording. You could do that separately, which is awesome. So on streaming, I could be streaming at 720p, where when I'm recording, it's going to be at 1080p, which is awesome. And also the bit rate. So I want to keep the rate control to constant bit rate and 40 megabits per second which is 40,000 kilobits per second you want to keep it to zero default main auto use two pass encoding zero two so basically what's awesome about obs is that the streaming and the recording features are separate so basically i could stream at 720p at 2.5 megabits per second that's perfect for streaming but it looks horrible in recording like if you upload that on youtube it's gonna say 720p but it's not gonna look sharp at all it's gonna look really blurry and some of the details when you're playing it's gonna look really bad the details on the weapons all those types of things that's what's the issue with xsplit xsplit does not have that separate feature elgato on the other hand with their own software it has master copy now master copy is basically that where you could stream at a different bit rate and a different resolution where recording it could be at the highest possible setting same thing with obs obs the recording could be recorded at 1080p and it could be recorded at the maximum possible bit rate so when you're streaming it's going to be good for streaming it's going to look a little bit blurry but when it's saved as a recording it's going to look as the possible best that your com computer can support and at the best bit rate possible which is awesome so now you can upload the recordings onto youtube and it will look crispy clear it will look as sharp as it possibly can and how it's supposed to look. Obviously, YouTube is going to compress it to make it compatible with all devices, but that's just YouTube. And so now let's go into the audio. Now, I want to keep the audio bit rate to the maximum possible level. There's no reason for it not to be at 320. So I just keep all these tracks at 320, even though I mainly use track one. You can see in the recordings and in the streamings, I have it on audio track only checked one. And same thing over here, audio track one. So then you want to click apply and then we're going to go to the audio. Now, the sample rate, I want to keep it at 48 kilohertz. I want to have the channels to mono because for some reason with certain microphones that you use, it sounds different. It sounds like it's only being heard on one side of the ear, which I hear that in multiple videos, multiple streamings, which is an issue. So I want to keep it as mono and I want the desktop audio device disabled. I want all of this disabled. You can see that the mic uh, audio device is disabled. That is because I like to set the microphone separately on different scenes because when you have this checked on, so let's say I have my um, Scarlett Solo Studio Pack microphone, the CM25, let's say I have that microphone checked out, it's gonna be enabled in all the scenes. So that means it's gonna be enabled in my Black Ops 3 scene and it's gonna be enabled in my intermission. So when I switch to the intermission, I actually have to physically mute my microphone in OBS, which is, which I don't really like. I like to just have it in one scene. So then when I switch to intermission, I don't have to constantly remember to mute myself. So that's a good thing in my opinion. And so everything is disabled. It's at mono and it's at 48 kilohertz. 
So now we're going to go to the video. Now, this is basically all up to you guys. So I like to have the resolution all, all the way to 1080p and I want it to have it as the fastest but blurry if scaling. The reason why is because I used to have this at 32 samples, which is the sharpest possible even when you're scaling, but it messes up the file for some reason. It depending on your computer, depending on what type of graphics card you have, what type of CPU you have, if it can support it, then do it because it'll look the sharpest. It'll look the best. But for me, it just lags, it skips around. It looks good for a little bit, but then it starts to skip around. And then when you go more farther into the video, it just looks a lot worse. So I like to keep it safe. I like to keep my files safe and make sure that it is safe, especially if I have a really good clip. So I want it to be in the fastest, but blurry if scaling. And this is up to you guys. Usually with Twitch, it goes up to 30 uh, FPS and same thing for YouTube. No, YouTube could go up to 60 FPS, but it's up to you if you guys want to record or stream at 60 or 30. I like to stream and record at 30, but sometimes from time to time I could switch it to 60 FPS. It's really up to you guys and it all depends on how your computer, if your computer can support it. Hot keys, this is all up to you guys. If you guys want a specific key to stop and uh, pause the stream or anything like that and then advance I want to keep this at normal direct 3d L 11 I was about to say L uh, direct 3d 11 video adapter I have nothing MV 12 don't put it to RGB because then you can see this warning the color format other than uh, MV 12 are primarily uh, intended for recordings it's not recommended when streaming so then it'll put a lot of strain into your CPU which could mess up your CPU really badly I, I like the color space to be 709 and I want the color range to be full I want it to be partial I want the color to be as accurate as possible as nice and uh, contrast as possible so that looks really good keep this enabled I don't really mess with this so it's enabled it's at 10 it's at 20 it's at default this is not checked this is not checked so on and so on so then what you want to do is you want to just click apply and then you want to hit OK. So that is the settings that I personally use and I have no problems with any of these settings. I like to have it at 2.5 megabits in the streaming and I wanted to have it at 720p. I like my recordings to be at 1080p at 40 megabits per second depend depending on your capture card. Once again, I have the Elgato HD60. If you have the HD60 Pro, then put it to 60 megabits per second, which is 60,000 kilobits per second. That is the maximum possible for that capture card. I don't know about Hopog or any other uh, companies because Elgato really posted the um, the maximum bit rate on their website. If you guys could uh, find out about the Hopog, let me know down in the comments below. And there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is episode one on how to stream using OBS Studio. Episode two is going to be a lot more detail. It's going to be how to add the gameplay and stuff like that. We're going step by step so that you guys could be organized and you guys could um, basically start streaming right away and it could be a lot easier for you guys to understand. So we're going step by step. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments below on what you guys think about this. Let me know if there's anything else that I should improve with my settings, which what you guys think is the best settings. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitch. As always, this is Tech HD. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.